I'm joined now by William Taylor, the former U.S. ambassador to Ukraine. Sir, thanks so much for joining us. Welcome back to the show. Um, you've served in hot spots from Afghanistan to Iraq and Ukraine. How critical is that security training we were just watching for our nation's top diplomats serving overseas, especially in the current heightened threat environment? Bill, it's very important. Uh, it's good to have that experience to be able to go through something not for the first time. If you've got to face this in the in the event, it's good to have been through it before. So that's the training allows you to do that. Let me just say, though, that the best thing that we do abroad um, to protect our diplomats is to know the place, is to know what the threats are. And in order to do that, just like uh, the secretary said, you have to be there. And we have to rely, and we do rely, on our local staff. In my case, in, in uh, Ukraine, the Ukrainian staff was very, very good at helping us understand what the threats were and what we would have to contend with. I do want to turn to the current situation there in the region. Um, you previously served in Jerusalem at, at one point. I'm wondering what your take is on Israel's offensive against Hamas right now and and the casualties we're seeing in the Gaza Strip? Well, Phil, you're right. Um, I, I spent time there and have very good friends uh, in Kibbutzim, and I have very good friends uh, in, the, in the Palestinian community, none in the Hamas community, I will tell you. Um, so this is a very complicated case. And uh, as everyone has said, uh, the attacks on civilians are horrible. Um, the attacks on, uh, on the Israelis uh, by Hamas, horrible. Uh, concern about about civilian deaths and civilian security is what we have to focus on right now. For the most part, this conflict has stayed pretty much contained to that area, but are there any fears you have of this spilling outside of Israel's borders, Gaza's borders, and, and the U.S. getting pulled into a more direct conflict? We have to be concerned about that. We have to be prepared for that. Um, you showed earlier these two aircraft carriers in the Med, in the Mediterranean right there. That's what they're designed to do, to try to head off, to deter any expansion. So that's the right thing to do. We have to be prepared, and being prepared will do the deterrence. And, and finally, sir, the House has passed more aid for Israel, but they did not include additional aid for Ukraine yet. And a top Ukraine commander said this week the war there is at kind of like a stalemate. So will the U.S. need to do more to change that? Absolutely. The U.S. will definitely have to do more, and the U.S. will have to provide more of the weapons that the Ukrainians, that, that Ukrainian leader, that military leader, made it very clear that they need this kind of support that's coming from the United States. They are so appreciative. The first thing they say every time I visit, thank you. But then they say we need more. They watch very closely what the House and the Senate are doing, and they need that support. Ambassador Taylor, always good to have your perspective. Thanks so much. Thank you, Phil. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.